What's up guys? Welcome back to the Physique Development YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to do a train with me and Sue, and we're gonna be taking you guys through a full quad session. So if you are looking for some juicy quads, you may get some cool exercises to, to steal from today's session. Here for the juice. All right, get your warm-up set in, dog. What's up, guys? Sue and I are going to be popping in throughout the entirety of this video, giving you guys some extra tips and tricks throughout the training, so be on the lookout for us. Exercise one for us today is going to be a heel elevated trap bar deadlift. Now, the heel elevation is going to allow for us to have a greater bias towards knee flexion, which is going to give us that bias towards the quads. If we didn't have the knee flexion, or the, I should say, the heel wedges in place, we're not going to be able to get as much knee flexion, so it's gonna be more hip dominant rather than knee dominant. And so, when we're trying to bias quads, we wanna make it as knee dominant or knee flexion based as we possibly can. And that's what we're doing with today's first movement. Give me uh, two plates and a 10 on each side. Good. It's a heart rate driver, that's for sure. Good. Pressure uh. stuff down there, come on. Drive, 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 drive. Yeah. That's probably your best set, I thought. I agree. All right, I wanted to go ahead and rewind and show you guys this set again to be able to talk about some things when it comes to my form. So you guys see a lot of sets of ours when we're doing teaching sets. And these are very hard working sets. As you can see, we're really pushing ourselves here. And so my form isn't perfect. And that's first okay, because I am pushing for that higher weight. But also something that we realize is that I need a different wedge degree. So I need the 20 degree wedges from Prime, which they're on our way to us. So I'll have those for the next time. Um, for me to be in the best position. So you'll start to see my upper body leaning forward a little bit when I did wanna stay more upright, um, but was still able to get the job done. But I think it's important to be able to touch on what this looks like when it comes to our form. All right, we'll see what I got here. I'll go up to 275. When Sue sets the pace here, this is the too fast for me. I need three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight minutes in my rest period. What are you listening to for your final set? <laughs> Let's see, what do we want to do? Normally some like offset, um, Quavo, something ridiculous from them. Maybe a little bit of us versus them with Quavo, Takeoff, and Gucci. That's probably it. Well, I gotta go right now, because Susu set the pace. DJ DeRue! Good, keep your four tight. Good. Good, good, good. Focusing on me. I'm on day three of no caffeine. 
Don't you dare make fun of me for yawning. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, movement number two is going to be a back foot elevated, front heel elevated split squat. Now, you guys normally see us just with the back foot being elevated, but you will see with that front foot, we put that on a riser as well. And so the reason for that is just to allow for us to have greater range of motion in its entirety. So as we drive that knee forward within this movement, you can see that Sue's back leg is getting pretty close to the ground. If we did not have the risers for both of those, it just does not allow for us to get the full range of motion. So that is why we're using both the boxes. That was three sets, right? Hi. <laughs> I'm definitely going to use my verse grip for this first set. When training legs, it's gonna be a really good idea to always use your Versa grips because your grip strength is probably going to give out before your glutes, your hamstrings, or your quads give out during that session, especially if you're taking a rep range to, to 10 or even beyond. So always use your Versa grips when training lower. That moved a little bit faster than I thought I was going to. <laughs> I'm strong. <laughs> right leg move faster than the left leg. I'm sweating. You're sweating? Okay, I'm not that fat. There's nothing to do with fatness. Oh, trust. You've always sweat. Fat people sweat more. That's discrimination. Good. <sighs> Oh. All right, I know you've heard me a few times making noises oh. while I'm training, and this is just a reminder, it's okay to make noises or to make faces as you're pushing yourself and going for that strength. You're gonna be jacked for your claws by the end of this. Look at that. I am jacked. That's true. That is true. Now I gotta stand up. That second leg, dude. Huh. Not a whole lot that beats that. That. So we're doing three sets here? Yep, one more. <laughs> well, if it's our last set, I will go off one more time. That sounds nice. 35s? the gibberish at the end? What was that at the end? I was gonna sing, and it was just for that. <laughs> Don't worry, we started the song. <laughs> Keep that same energy. Don't flip. <laughs> More good <laughs> Reminder that it's okay to fail when you're going for a weight. It's the fact that you tried and went after it, so it's not embarrassing. That's pretty good. Thank you, that's right. <laughs> you kept that same energy and you didn't flip. I didn't. Good luck. No, <laughs> thanks. Thanks. I'm going to treat this as truly two sets because for this top set, single leg, I can't believe you went so fast. I would have taken, I would have sat down. I am gonna sit down actually. I'm gonna go up to 80s. And uh, go up to 80s and give it my, abs literally my absolute all. This will be the f final hard, well, we'll have the lady extension, but. Oh man. That's so sad. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's so proud of that line. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Sorry, my success is pepper spray. <laughs> you're so salty. A hundred? No. Sorry, you're soft. <laughs> Last time I did hundreds for the split squats, I did it, and then I was like, I have nothing actually left in my whole being, and I'm just gonna go inside and eat. You my took session a video completely ended. of it, <laughs> and the video was like crooked, or you or you weren't in the full frame. Oh, and I did it again. And you were like, I'm gonna do it one more time, I and did. then you passed out. <laughs> I felt terrible. I couldn't even think the rest of the day. You were I, like, I had this, this, and this left in my session, but I called it. Yeah, I went way over the top. Could I do hundreds? I could. I could, but can I do anything after that? No, I found that out. Puffing on Zooties really isn't the, lot, the hit for this one. The hit is Sleazy Flow with Lil Baby. get to it. We will get to it. That one, that left leg was a little toughy. May have looked easy, but it was not. Is that the ultimate leg day training tee? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is the ultimate leg day t-shirt. Leg extension? Yeah. Leg extension it is. <laughs> if you guys are thinking this is for theatrics, it's not. Uh, it's literally not. This is how I am every session. <laughs> especially leg session. Yeah, especially leg session. This is true. It would have been worse than the leg press. Yeah. And That's... then you uh, try to go back to work and your brain doesn't work. Also very true. You guys see that band that Sue's putting on there. What the oh. use of this is going to be is to decelerate a little bit from that beginning point because you can create oh. so much force out of that bottom position. It allows for us to balance things out a little bit. Any more of a breather. All right, let's see if I'm too weak. is soaked. I'm gonna do the kind thing and wipe this down for the next person coming to use it. Back's not too bad. Booty seat. Leg pad, a problem. Do you want a spot? I'm not with this lower weight. I should be able to get it. All right. grandmother when she would get it like her rule was the the three two one rule I think I've said this in a reel before uh, but everything that she did she counted down from three and gave herself a three two one uh, countdown and so she passed away gosh right when Sue and I got engaged like four years ago but probably for the first year after she passed I gave myself a three two one countdown for literally every task um, and so when I'm like and her big thing was when she was having to get up from something, she had to rock. <laughs> and she would, she'd give herself that countdown. So when I'm training legs, I still do it sometimes. It makes me laugh. <laughs> Oh. 
All right, let's go, come on. I might need a spot on this. All right, I'll see what I can do. When we're looking at spotting for hypertrophy, the big goal is to keep the tempo. So Alex is mainly keeping the tempo as I go and not trying to let me grind out those reps. Blacked out for a second there. All right, what, what can I do here? Thank you. My you got pleasure. me on the spot. Yep. Yeah. This is heavy now. All right, 45 degree with the standing calf. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Three sets there and then we're done. Mm -hmm. My quads are fried. I still haven't got up from my leg extension, yeah. I can't figure it out. What is the next step? <laughs> Body can't compute. <laughs> oh. See what I'm saying, Miguel? She moves so much faster. I start moving in slow motion. Those well, aren't the prescribed rest period. Can you put that on the other side, please? <laughs> I didn't get any help when I was setting up and moving everything around. He was just sitting his butt right there. All right, now I'm gonna try and get up in here and do this. <sighs> my traps. <laughs> Stick with your yoga, kids. Keep your mobility. Okay, that's better. Last set, best set. You can do it. And that's all, folks. 
I'll, I'll sign us out. Have fun. <laughs> I love, you. love you. Thanks for working out with me. Thanks for working out with me. Hey, Bubba. Hi. Hey, Gussie. That is a wrap for today's training session. Thanks for training with us. If you loved the, the shirts, they'll be linked in the, the bio. These are the best leg day shirts, bar none, I promise. Um, the next leg session, if you're like, dude, I, I love having some jacked quads, but I really want some juicy glutes and some hamstrings. We'll have that in the next train with me. We'll have a physique development client in town, Sydney Shelburne will be here training with me and we're gonna go through a very intensive crazy glute and hamstring session. So be on the lookout for that next Thursday.